morning. It's around four something right now. Uh, just preparing for the day today. We have a big day ahead of us today. As you can see, it's still dark around. This is how our farm looks like at night. Well, actually, it's not night. It's already twilight. So, on oh, that twilight, dawn, because it's 4 a.m. in the morning. As you can see, we're surrounded with so many animals. They're so noisy. I guess they're hungry. Anyway, just want to share you guys. These are our little harvest that we're going to bring to the market today. So we're going to drop this earlier later to our store so people can enjoy our harvest. As you can see, we have vegetables, fruits, uh, grown from our backyard farm. So we're going to share this to the public so they can enjoy organic fruits and vegetables grown in our farm at, in, my, in Magalang, Pampanga. Alright, let's take a look. Why they're so noisy over there? Oh, let me get my flashlight. Most of my videos posted in YouTube are raw, raw and edited, so I don't really have time to edit. So. Pardon if there's no much, uh, there's not much, uh, what do you call this? Fancy, fancy video inserts. Alright, this is usually what I do in the morning when I woke up. Since I'm always sometimes the first one, I usually woke up around 3 or 4 in the morning. I do my inspections, as you can see, this is how, how it looks like during very early in the morning when the sun is still not up. Sometimes it's scary, but I got used to it. Usually during my first time doing this, I carry my my little baby with me when I say my little baby you probably know what I'm talking about but I got used to it and all our staff are here so there's much nothing to be afraid of for now see this is how it looks like at night it's so foggy everyone is still sleeping and the only one that's awake are the animals. I guess everyone. <laughs> Surely the one that's right here. Puppies. <laughs> we have actually six new puppies, but we give away three. And yeah, only three are left. We didn't name those puppies yet, so three of them two females and one male I think usually when there's some things going on the noise you will hear is different it will be more will be more what I call this a coordinated uh, noise from all the animals so far the only one I'm hearing is my dog and let me show you my dog that's Chico he's been bad 
behaving badly in the farm, so we have to put a leash on him. All the birds are around the rabbitry area because some pellets falls down, so they're taking advantage of it and eating it. There he is. That's Chico. My first dog when I came back in the Philippines. He's the uh, dog that you, you, you guys usually see in my Facebook account. But since he's been naughty, he attacks some of the fowls we have here. We have to tie him up. Chico! No, no. He's a lot of Oh. He lost weight. Anyway, it's his fault. Mm. Some of the fowls, when they sleep at night or during nighttime, as you can see, they climb uh, or put themselves on higher location because she can. S it's for their protection, I guess. They do that. Because uh, in, in a setting like this, there's a lot of snakes, uh, pythons, and uh, yeah, pythons to be exact. And they like to eat chickens. And so much our chicken here you got uh, used to it. So that's why they usually climb trees or any higher location so they they can sleep quietly and peacefully that's another puppy there that's a uh, altis he got locked up also because he violated the rules of our farm ate some chicks so he cannot be released anymore Looks like everything is okay here, so I don't want to go further down there because it's a little bit dangerous. Uh, I don't have a staff that I've located over there. But usually, all I do is just look around, see everything is cool. Look at our turkeys. They're already waiting for falling down pellets. Our ducks, chicken, you know, all over the place. Usually, all our aviary animals are over there. I don't know how they got, oh, when they got out, because I think there were some wild dogs that came in again to our farm and destroyed some of our fencing. So, they managed to. create some holes that's why our fowls and other aviaries are in and out of our see here this fence is all the way there so probably there's a hole there somewhere This is where our uh, suha or what they call it in in uh, English uh, pomer up, not pomerans. What the heck is suha it's called? All the spacing out. Anyway, it's like the it's like a grapefruit. Suha is like a grapefruit, but there's another name for it. I just can't remember right now. <laughs> Talking about walking on the wild side, huh? Sometimes there are dogs, wild dogs that come in here. That's why I check. Because they usually, 
this is the best time they they come in and raid so to discourage them sometimes you have to do what you need to do and what this is one of those things you need to do Uh, this is the fence that I told you guys about. It's uh, it's not a, actually a very strong fence because it's just made by us using local materials because we don't want to spend that much. It will it 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 actually was okay before, but but as you can see. It's still intact. Hmm. What, happened? what happened here? I can hear something. Maybe a bat or a bird. See, there's some holes. I know it's cool here. Oh, there, there. That's why I'm hearing something. There's some chickens in there. Okay, going back there. Looks like they're okay. See, look at my the guard dog. He's following me around. <laughs> come on, come on, boy. Sometimes our dog are, I guess it's instinct, think, inst their instinct, because these are farm dogs. So they tend to go with us, I guess, to protect us during our rounds. one over there what is that this might be a dog see it This is uh, maybe a cat. Let's see. Where the heck is it? It's gone. There it is, it's a cat. So, a cat got inside our farm. Maybe this is a cat that our helper is uh, having there. <clears throat> anyway, see there is a cat. I thought it was a dog. That's why it's quiet. Here's our other goat, the new mom. Uh, they are located over here because it is okay. It look like it's okay. This is where our jack foods are. Lanka. See, all over there. From there to here. Oh. Okay, 
got tied up. Yeah, they're okay now. There's the father goat. Around here in the jackfruit area, the grass is a little bit more nutritious, I guess. The soil here is very, very, very good. A lot of earthworms. All right, I need to go back there. It looks like it's all good. Here's our baraco, our jack, or what do you call this? Our male goat. What happened here? He got tied up again. So I need to untangle him. I'm going to one more. What the heck did you do? When did you tangle yourself? And to untangle this, I cannot use my only one hand. So, if you watch it up to here, thank you guys. Um, I, as you can see, these are my routine sometimes in the morning. I do inspections at the break of dawn. <laughs> Crazy it is. Is well, it's nice. Anyway, all right, I gotta take care of this goat. And uh, I'll see you guys on my next vlog. Thank you for watching and and have a good day. God bless.